morning students and uh, another case study we are going to see today is Koenigsberg uh, bridge problem and uh, the famous problem in uh, graph theory so what is the graph theory that all the things we are going to see and we are going to find out uh, uh, the solution of Koenigsberg bridge problem here so using the case study uh, the birth of graph theory graph theory is a vast uh, subject and uh, there are so many applications available in graph theory and uh, graph theory is mainly very useful for uh, computer science uh, those who are working with networks cyber security cryptography what will be the case the birth of graph theory is associated with the swiss mathematician leonard euler who wrote the first paper related to graphs in 1736 he began his paper discussing the famous conic birth bridge problem so what is the Koenigsberg bridge problem? So this uh, Koenigsberg, Koenigsberg bridge problem uh, initiated the idea of graph theory at that time. So right. So what is the problem? The city of Koenigsberg was located on the banks A and D and on two islands B and C of the river Friedel in East Prussia. These four regions were linked by seven bridges. So I will see. Uh, I will show you the figure after this on any day sunday the citizen of konigsberg would uh, promenade around town as in usual in german cities the citizen wondered whether it is possible to plan this promenade in such a manner that they could leave the home cross every river bridge exactly once and return. this is their main problem so just to see this diagram this is the uh, city of konigsberg so here if you see this is the Konigsberg, city of Konigsberg and uh, it's the bank A and uh, that side and this side uh, will represent A and D. A and D represents the banks of the river and it is connected by uh, seven segments or seven bridges which is shown in green color 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. B and C are islands. Okay. So B and C are islands. So it is represented in the diagram. B and C are islands. A and D are banks of the river. And A and D are banks of the rivers are connected with the islands. These two islands by seven bridges. So on any day you have to start from the island B or C. And you can go to anywhere in the island. And the question is you have to visit all the bridges exactly once and uh, you have to return to the same point this is the problem and that problem is named as a Koenigsberg bridge problem so how to find out the solution of this problem so uh, how to represent it represents the parts of the city with points so graph theory is nothing but uh, graph theory is, uh, is uh, nothing but uh, vertices and edges so every thing can be represented in terms of graphs okay so i am representing here the parts of the city with points in addition represent the bridges connecting the parts of the city with segments that is very as a that is edges um, the thing is how many points and how many segments do you have on one diagram so just to go to this diagram so i am representing the number of parts of the city as vertices how many parts of city here a b c and d four points so you can use four vertices that is a name. and how many edges do you have you will have six seven edges okay so the number of bridges connecting these four points will treat it as edges okay so just to see answer is one possible graph is given here and the number of points here is four that is the number of parts of the city and the number of segments is equal to seven that is the number of bridges so this is the uh, representation of the Koenigsberg uh, bridge problem in terms of graphs A, B, C and D are vertices of the graph A and D are connected by so just uh, if you see the diagram A and B are connected by two edges two bridges so if A is connected by B you can draw an edge from A to B so A is connected by two bridges here so you can draw two lines from A to B. Similarly, B is connected to C. 
by only one edge so you can draw a single edge from b to c and similarly from b to d there are two bridges connecting b and d so you can draw two edges from b to d in the same way you can draw all the diagrams so all the things are connected by here so you will draw. so just to see here a and b are connected by two edges two bridges so i can i had draw i draw two edges here b and d are connected by two bridges so i can draw two edges from here and the rest of the things are connected by single edge single bridges so i i have connected with only one edge okay this is the diagrammatic representation of konigsberg bridge problem so we have to find whether, whether i have to find out the solution of this problem what is the problem you can start with any vertex the problem is now you can start with any vertex and you can you have to move all the edges exactly once and you have to return to the point where you start okay so suppose if you are starting from a you have to track you have to travel all the edges exactly once and you have to return back to a that is the problem so uh, start with a point of your choice in the diagram you can start with any part of the city whether you can start with a b c or d it's purely your choice the question is can you traverse every segment in the diagram only once and come back to the point you start with okay you can use the colors pencils whatever you want suppose if you can show how you can do that if not explain why that cannot be achieved so this is the main problem in mathematics if you really know the answer of that the problem means you have to prove that answer and if you know that the solution is not to that particular uh, problem means that also you have to prove that is the main thing in mathematics okay so the thing uh, here the solution i am just giving you 5 minutes of time just think so now uh, the solution to this problem is just to see euler show that no matter at which point one begins cannot traverse every edge and come back to the starting point without retracing one steps okay that means uh, there is no solution to this particular problem so you, if you, you can start with any point a b c and d so it is impossible to come back to the starting point by traversing all the edges exactly once at least that means at least one edge you have to traverse more than once that is the main thing okay why so we, we know we need reason for this can you explain why this happens the answer is uh, he found that the famous uh, theorem in order to traverse every segment in the diagram each vertex needs to have even number of segments coming out of it do you understand so once if you are moving to if you are entering into a vertex then always you have to leave from that vertex so in so one edge have to uh, go inside that city and another edge have to come out of that city that means uh, it definitely should have even number of edges incident with that particular city so that should be uh, even number of edges incident with that particular city once for going inside once for coming outside then only it's possible to come where we started that is the main thing that is uh, the, this problem will have a solution each vertex is of even degree that means here just to see uh, uh, a the vertex a has 1 2 3 three edges incident on vertex c is have three edges incident on it so that is the degree of c is 3 and degree of a is 3 degree of d is 3 and degree of b is, is also 1 2 3 4 5 odd degrees all the vertices are of odd degrees so the thing is if the vertices if all the vertices in the graph graphical representation is of even degree then it possible to start from a point and by traveling or traveling all the edges exactly once and come to the same point that is the main observation main result that he has found out eulers so eulers is considered to be the father of graph theory 
okay so he found out the solution to the conic square bridge problem is not at all possible that is the thing he found out using graph theory okay so even if you uh, can't able to find out the solution you have to give the appropriate steps why you can't find out the solution hope you understand and hope you enjoyed this article okay